everyone. This is Cindy Buchanan, and I am here with our CEO, one of my favorite people in the world, Seth Frazier. And we are going to do a little hangout, give you guys some updates of what's going on um, in the company and in our team, and just give you guys kind of an idea what to expect when um, when you're facing any kind of issues. And there's a couple specific issues that we want to go over on how to handle those. So. Um, I haven't even told Seth what all we're doing, so he's kind of just kind of running with it, and that's what I love about him. He's always ready. No matter what we got for him, he's ready. So first off, let's start with um, some of the questions that have been coming into me. Um, is Destiny Travel Team still building? Are we still growing? Um, what's happening? There have been a few people that have left, and there's been a few people that have built a big downline, um, 100, 200, 500, different amounts, but then they've kind of just like left their downline hanging and are not giving them the support they need. And so those people are all coming to me going, well, my sponsor left or my sponsor's not helping me, what do I do? Do I need to leave the company and go find something else? So that's what we're here today is to make sure that you guys know that no, absolutely not. You don't need to go anywhere else. This is the place to be. We are so freaking excited about what's happening in our team and in this company. So I want to give you a couple of updates. Um, as of, gosh, I don't, I don't know our exact number, but I think we're around, what, 1,500, Seth? Somewhere right around there um, in our right. team and in our downline. So, you know, are we going anywhere? Absolutely not. We're not going anywhere except to the top. We are not letting this go. We are rocking it. Um, I will tell you, one of our people that has built kind of a big downline has been in the hospital for quite a bit lately. So part of his team is asking some questions as well. So we just want you guys to know a couple things. We are not going anywhere. We are still growing. Our, our numbers have not went down. What our numbers are doing and, and it's not a bad thing. So I want I want you guys to, to know exactly what's happening. So our numbers last month were about the same as they are this month. They haven't went up. So when you see, oh, well, you're not growing, so we must not be doing anything. No, what's happened is all those people that came in for that quick fix or they came in thinking, oh, I'm going to sign up and I'm going to make all this money and then they didn't because they didn't bring anybody in or they didn't work their business. They didn't do anything. So they got discouraged and they left. So what has happened is we've kind of got rid of all of the people that came in during the pre-launch hype. And now we've got the real builders here. So it's not a bad thing that some left because what's happened is now we've replaced them with new people. So you always get that when you, when you're in a company and you have pre-launch, you're always going to get people that'll jump. They'll start to grow and then if they don't make it fast enough or they'll grow and then they'll jump to something else and they'll grow a team over there. But what is happening is we've gotten rid of a lot of that. And that is actually a good thing because now the people that are here are still excited three months into it, you know, the month of pre-launch and then the, the two months since. And the people that are here are now the ones that are on fire and are going to go strong. So I am not disappointed at all. And I want you guys to know that when you look in our group and you, do, you don't see growth for about a month, but you don't see any, you don't see it like going down either. You see us getting rid of the bad, and bring it in the good and now we're going to build 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 and we are still going to go strong and our numbers are going to continue going up now that all the pre-launch people are gone and we're going to continue growing and you know as far as the future of ptp uh some of you guys are asking me that as well you know so and so left and they said ptp is a scam or they said this or they said that guys they left the company for a reason because they didn't come in and make as much money as they wanted by not building. If you are building your team, like we keep teaching you in every one of our trainings, we got, we still do our live trainings every Wednesday. We're still doing everything that we promised you we would do from the very beginning. You're still got 24 hour support. We've got what, 22 chat rooms or something like that. It's crazy, but they're going 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So there's no excuse for having unanswered questions. Guys, if you have questions and you are in a chat room, go in there and ask your questions. If you're in there and um, 
you're in a chat room and there's some negativity going on, ask those people to PM you. If you're one of the people running one of the chat rooms, don't let the negativity start going in there because it just becomes like almost like a cancer throughout the, the group. And that doesn't mean it's any one person's fault, but if there's a problem in a chat room, make sure as leaders, those of you that are running the chat rooms that you tell them PM me and then deal with the problem or the question if it's, so that we can keep those chat rooms 100% positive. We don't want any kind of negative um, stuff going on in the chat rooms for the new people when we bring them in. We want them to see what an awesome thing that we have in front of us. And if somebody is being negative, kick them out of the, the Facebook chat. We don't have to keep 100% of the people in the chat room at all times. Be careful you're not okay, just uh, out for no reason. But can you jump in for a second, Cindy? Yes, sure, go ahead, Seth. All right, I'm going to jump in for one second. So, and I agree with everything you're saying, but I also want to focus on this. I, what I have also seen out there is people that are ferociously dedicated to Pro Travel Plus that when something like that maybe comes up that might be perceived as negative, have come in and said all the right things and done a really incredible job with not just defending the company, and it's not they're not just defending the company to defend the company. What they're experiencing is really true. They're actually loving the product, they're loving the compensation plan, they're getting great success, and this team in particular has done a really great job of that. So without focusing too much on the negative side of things, I want to say I haven't seen a lot of that. What I've seen is a lot of you guys really being incredibly focused and positive, and I'm very, very proud of that. So I appreciate you bringing it up, but I did want to say I haven't seen a lot of that. It's been, it's been a consistent uh, and, and positive effort moving forward. I also want to give you a couple of real, real talk numbers, because we... Uh, <laughs> You know, we launched on June 1st. Here we are on July 21st, so 51 days in. And, uh, you know, some of you might have heard us throw around uh, that we, we recently hit 10,000 members, and that's great. It's fantastic. It's a nice start to, to what we, we essentially plan to be 100,000 members and 500,000 and a million and moving on forward and forward and further and further. Um, you know, if you've ever looked at any other travel-based company out there, uh, the majority never made it to 5,000 members. So we've already doubled what most really, what a lot of people consider the hot travel companies out there. We've done more than double that in our first 51 days. That's cool. Um, you mentioned retention, um, Cindy, and maybe not with that word, but what you did say is the group hasn't necessarily grown a ton over the last 30 days, but the numbers are like this. They're going like, the, and, that, and I'll tell you why. Uh, Company-wide, out of the 10,000 members that have joined, we have 7,800 who are still active. So that, that's a real talk number. That's absolutely, I just went and looked at it. So just so you know, that is ridiculously rare in network marketing, um, especially during a pre-launch phase. Here's what generally happens. You bring in, let's say you bring in 10,000 people just to make the numbers easy. Generally speaking, about 60 to 65% of people are going to quit if they didn't A, get a paycheck, or B, love the product, and maybe a combination of those two things. And here we are at a 78% uh, retention rate in less than two months. Now, obviously, I call it less than two months. We technically launched on April 17th with our pre-launch phase. So we've got people that have hung around that whole time. Whether or not they made a paycheck, whether or not they were doing very well with their business, they absolutely love what we're offering. And so we've got this, yes, I agree with you, uh, Cindy. We kind of cleaned out, if you're familiar with the uh, removing the chaff from the wheat. You take wheat, roll it around in your hands, you get this kind of stuff that comes off and the wind blows it away. The chaff is the stuff you don't want. And a lot of the people that have quit during this phase, those 2,200 or so, were the people that came in for maybe the wrong reason. Um, and now those people are moving on to other programs, other projects, and that could not be better for this team and what we're doing because what we're going to see now is people like Cindy who are going to stick around. And she, Cindy is one of the greatest leaders, by the way. I, I just want to... I want to tell you that, and I know everybody that's watching this right now is shaking their head. Yes, she's the best. She's awesome, and I feel the same way. We've had a chance to meet up a couple of times here in San Diego. I watch what you do for your team. I watch the consistency with which you perform, and what you're doing out there is you're setting an example. Now, if everybody on this team was doing what Cindy does, we'd be looking at a team of 30,000 people right now. <laughs> so reliance on that's your leader funny. is great. But I oh, it's true. It's true. And reliance on your leader is awesome. That's great. However, what you want to do is take that... You want to put a mentality shift in your own head of following your leader to becoming the leader. And here's how you do that. So you've got in front of you this opportunity. 
you want you're seeking out a mentor. Okay, so if your sponsor quit and you're chasing your sponsor upline, um, I want to tell you right now it stops right now it stops here today because you've got Cindy and you have me. You have Charles Vest who's on an appointment right now. He would have been on this call with us, and you can reach out to us. I would say I would suggest go through Cindy. She'll reach out to me because she's going to know most of the answers. She becomes kind of the nice little blockade for me, so I don't have to deal with 100 questions. But she'll bring the top five or 10 questions that she can answer to me, and then I'll give her the answers. And this is why we're doing calls like this. But as you take that responsibility shift into becoming a mentor, one of the things a lot of people think mentally is that in order to be a mentor, you have to be filled with raw ability. You have to be filled with natural talent, a gifted speaker, a great internet marketer, someone who, and this is just absolute BS, <laughs> straight talk. Uh, I'm going to tell you the four abilities that you do need to become a leader, okay? Here they are. You might want to write this down. These are your four abilities. Number one, visibility, okay? So you make, make it known that you're willing to help out others. That means Facebook posts. That means things like what Cindy is doing right now, this webinar right here, she's getting visible. She's putting this link out to others. She's, she is including the conference call line that we're dialing into for our special needs folks. She's doing visibility like a champ. Okay? Then availability. Availability spots that follows up with the visibility that you already had, you already put out there. You said, hey, I'm going to be here for you. You better be there for somebody if you said you're going to. So now you have to make sure that when somebody asks for time of yours to learn a piece of our compensation plan, etc., that you're available for them. And the next piece of that becomes responsibility. The responsibility part means you have to learn about the program, you have to understand it. You don't have to be an expert, guys. This is not about that. It's about putting the effort in. And frankly, this this entire program was set up set up around ease of use, whether it be the compensation plan, simplicity of it, uh, the ability to describe it on a napkin within about five minutes or the ability to use the actual travel product. It doesn't take a rocket uh, scientist to be able to do that. It can be really easy, but take the responsibility. Get with people like Cindy who has some incredible, incredible internet marketing techniques. And she's been doing some great stuff. She's got great traffic sources. She's putting together some great tools for the team. Learn that. Take the responsibility to soak it into yourself so that next time somebody comes to you with a question, you don't have to go to Cindy. You get to be the leader now. You get to be the mentor. And then the last thing, uh, probably the most important part of the abilities is accountability. Accountability is essentially makes you responsible every day to learn something and make sure that you're putting the visibility out there, the availability. And as you hold yourself accountable, you can start to expect the same from your team. You can actually go to your team and say, guys, here's what I've done. Now, what have you done? Not in a mean Oh my, what have you done for me lately? Not that kind of way, but just, hey, let's just check in with each other. Have you contacted your three new prospects today? Have you called three new people about Pro Travel Plus? Um, have you done some of your internet follow-up stuff? Did you take the Facebook swipe copy that, you know, take a look at some of the swipe copy that Cindy has put up in the group. Uh, got some great copy there. How many, how many people are taking that, copying it, pasting it to their Facebook profile? There's a lot of things you need to hold yourself accountable for, and as you do that, you're going to find the more you hold yourself accountable, the more you're going to be a stronger leader. I apologize. I, I jumped in and just went off on a whole tangent there, Cindy. I'm going to pass it back to you. I just I felt like I really <laughs> need to say that you know I think I, I I agree there might be some people that are negative out there. From what I've seen with this group, we got a bunch of rock stars who are as positive as could possibly be, and, and I appreciate that very much. So you jumped in about two seconds too soon. I was just going to be ready to ask you almost word for word what you were saying. So it was perfect timing, actually. I'm sorry. So, I took your question. No, no, it's good. So basically what I was going to say is, you know, even though there may be a person here or a person there, there is so much positive going on in our team that you guys need to really see that, you know, whatever the case may have been, Forget it. Put it behind you. If your sponsor left, find your upline. Find who else is here. There are still plenty of people here, and we are still doing our trainings. We still have our Facebook group. We still have everything that we had before. And if you know, if they left, so what? At some point, you have to realize you are an independent business owner. You can't give somebody else control of your business. You step up and you get the training that's out there. And if you have questions, we are here for you. We love working with you. No, never ever do I get a question and I go, 
oh god, them again. Like it doesn't ever cross my mind. It's like, oh, da -da 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 -da, and I just start typing away, da -da 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 -da, you know. Um, guys, we are so excited about some new things. Um, Seth and I have been, we sat down and we were talking on the phone the other day. Um, just some little light bulbs going off and some new strategies that we're about to put into practice. Um, you guys should be excited about some of the new trainings that we have coming up and some things that we haven't even talked about. So I just wanted more than anything for you guys to hear we're not going nowhere except up. We are not slowing down. We are going to the top. And I am in personal contact with Seth. I am in personal contact with Charles. I am not going to let our team fail. I am going to make sure of it. And guys, it's not just me, though. You also really need to realize if you have a question, I may be, you know, who's sitting here talking to you, but I don't run this team by myself. You guys have Shane. Oh my gosh, he is there for you guys more than anything. If you need his help, get it, get with him. If you can't get a hold of Shane for whatever reason, go to Nick Foti. I've been working with Nick for probably what, 10 years now, it seems like. I don't know the exact number. He is always there. He is faithful and he is always there. He know he works with me so closely, like he almost knows my brain inside and out. So guys, you have some really, really strong leaders that are here. And I just want you guys to know, you know, there's so much good about to happen. And I just wanted to make this call and, and show you guys our heart and where we are and what our mission is. And I wanted you to hear from Seth and realize that the company's not going anywhere. Destiny Travel Team's not going anywhere. And when you put those two forces together, we are going to be a force to be reckoned with between our team and our company. I mean, the, the comp plan is insane. The, the product, gosh, I've saved over $1,000 already just by using the product and, wow. and the savings that we, we offer. You know, guys, there's so much. And that's not even counting our, our Cabo trip and our trip to our cruise to the Bahamas. There's so much going on that you guys can step up and be a part of it and enjoy your company. Don't make it work. You know, this is travel. It's supposed to be fun. Make it fun. <laughs> Interact with the people on the team. Get the support you need. Go to the trainings, but then have fun and enjoy the trips. Enjoy the calls. I mean, you've seen on, I don't know, was it last week you guys did the, the hangout call and uh, they were just goofy as could be on the hangout, but that's what makes it fun. We can be us. We can just let loose, have fun, and enjoy our business. That's why we got into it, right? We got into it to have fun, but also to make money. So let's do both. It doesn't need to be complicated. And if, you know, like I said, if you sponsor left, go upline. We're all still here. It's okay. And your business is still going to continue to succeed as long as you continue to stay connected. So, you know, get on the calls in the evenings. They're still going on every night of the week. And Seth has, Seth and Charles do their Saturday morning training. We have our Wednesday, uh, Wednesday evening trainings. Guys, there's so much to help get you connected. We want more than anything for every single one of you to be successful. So if you guys have questions, let us know whether you do it in the group or in the chat or you PM one of us. It doesn't matter. Just get with us. We want you guys to be successful. And that is the only thing that matters to us. So Seth, if you want to say anything else before we close it out, I'll turn it back to you one more time. All right. Sounds good. I'll, I'll close with one little thing. Now, what, one of the things that we have noticed, and you know, we do our opportunity calls seven nights a week. We have our training call Saturday morning. Uh, I know you have you guys have your personalized training. I think it's on Wednesdays, Cindy. And um, you know, there's a tendency for a lot of folks out there to get a little bit overwhelmed. So I want to make sure that you guys understand that while we want you on as many calls and events as we as we can possibly do, we understand that it can be a little overwhelming. Maybe it's your first time in a network based a home you know a home based business opportunity, and you're trying to make every single call at night. You're trying to bring guests to that, and you try and get on the training call, and maybe you miss the Saturday one, maybe you miss the Wednesday one, or whatever it might happen to be, and you feel a little bit behind. So let's, I want to take the pressure off a little bit. Um, this is, in, as, as Cindy mentioned, this is intended to be a lot of fun for us. And when you first got into this business, maybe your expectations were, hey, I'm going to make $1,000 a month in this part time. Maybe it's not the right time to do that to yourself. Let's take it. you got to go step by step. If you want to get to a goal, 
The only way to get there is a step at a time. So take on as much as you possibly can without burning yourself out. We want you to be successful. We are in our pre-launch you know, slash launch phase. We just moved out of pre-launch. And yes, it's an exciting time. If you have the time, if you're working this full time, let's go. Yeah, it's like, I know Cindy's working this full time. So she's got the opportunity to be on every single call, to be running the training calls. And for I know there's a few folks that are going to be watching this right now that already have gone full time. And that's awesome. So if that's the case for you, don't hold back. Go all the way. Do everything. Do every call. Follow up on all your lists, all that stuff. Do everything that you've been asked to do. If you're doing this part time and maybe you're a working stay at home mom or a working mom or you know maybe you're just wanting looking for a little bit of part time income on the side, handle as much as you can. I do want to say this though. I would ask this of everybody that's watching this. This Saturday is one of the most crucial trainings we're ever going to have. We have, and we're, we're going to announce this tomorrow. Uh, we have Greg Reed who wrote the book Three Feet from Gold. It's a book about a prospector who went for years and years and years and years and years and finally gave up. And if he had gone three feet further into the mountain, he would have hit one of the biggest gold strikes in American history. And for, for most of us who are here, um, you know, if you have been in network marketing before, a lot of people stopped three feet short. So if you're here right now, we haven't even gone, we're, not, we're, we're less than three feet from gold and we're less than 60 days old. Yeah. So this isn't the time to give up. You're going to hear some stuff on Saturday's call. This is somebody who sits on the Napoleon Hill Foundation. He normally charges $1,000 for a training to listen on the phone, by the way. And he's doing this for free because he happens to be a member with Pro Travel Plus. And he's going to be building like crazy. So he wants to give you his tips for how to be successful in three easy steps. You're going to need a pen and paper. Don't miss this one. I, of, of anything that we've got that we've done since the day we launched, I would say this Saturday, our training is the most important call that we'll probably that we've ever run to this point in time. Don't miss that one. Beyond that, take it as much as you can, do as much as you can, and realize you are three feet from gold. Or in some cases, you've already struck gold. Some people out there are already doing very well. That's great. But don't give up. We just got started, and we're looking forward to a bright, bold future together with you. Cindy, you've been an amazing leader, and I love what you're doing for this team. It's incredible. You are just such a rock star. I know the whole team, you know, Shane and Austin and everybody on the team, just doing a great job of keeping everybody in the loop, and I really appreciate you putting together this Hangout. I'll let you go ahead and close it out, and I'll shut up and go on mute. So thank you for everything, and thanks for having me as a guest as well. Thank you so much for coming, Seth.